Hello booktube. Um, this is the second video I'm going to be doing this tag Wednesday. It is the seven deadly sins tag. It was created by um, Book Time with Ryan and I saw it on the History Fellas channel and I will leave links to both down below. If you are at all curious about uh, the speedy conclusion to the rapid fire book tag um, I did have a package delivered from UPS unfortunately it was not a book it was a bit of clothing I was getting for my birthday uh, so let's get started with the seven daily sentence tag greed what is your most inexpensive book uh, the most inexpensive books I have in my collection are numerous. Um, I mentioned in the last tag uh, several of the online uh, booksellers I use. One of them is Libris, which is a online used bookstore that brings together a number of independent and chain bookstores together to sell their books online. Um, a number of the sellers I use um, sell their books for 99 cents to a dollar 45. Um, and these two have been uh, Better World Books, which typically sold at, at 99 cents, although they don't sell with the Libras anymore that I've seen. And also there's a triumvirate of um, booksellers that I suspect are somehow connected, but not entirely sure. And they are Discover Books, Hippo Books, and Owl's Books. And all of, most of their books are $1.45, although some can be more expensive. But um, one thing about these books um, is that there's a good chance they are ex-library copies, which I'm okay with. But, um, yeah, so sometimes the good ratings a bit suspect, but I'm okay with it. Uh, the second part of this question is, what is your most expensive book? And I rack my brains, or my brain, um, for a bit about this, and then I realized, okay, the most expensive book I have is the Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism. It's got to be. Um, I mean, it was a college textbook, and those run into the upper, below 100, if not over 100. I don't remember how much it paid for it, um, but I know it was new, so it was almost certainly full price. And since I bought it at a university bookstore, Again, it was probably exceedingly expensive. Um, Wrath. What author do you have a love-hate relationship with? Um, I don't know that I necessarily have a love-hate relationship with any particular author. I know I've struggled to get on with N.K. Jemisin's work. Um, I just recently managed to get that breakthrough with The City We Became. Um, but do I necessarily hate her work? No. I mean, I just haven't gotten on with it. You know, the same is true of Catherine and Valenti, whose radiance I have adored uh, this past reading accepted. And I've struggled to get on with her other work, so... I just, I'm not, I don't think I do. Um, Gluttony. What book have you deliciously devoured over and over with no shame whatsoever? Um, excuse me, that would probably be um, either Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie or A Pocket Full of Rye by Agatha Christie. Um, those are two of my favorite novels by her and I try to read her, um, one of them as frequently as I can. 
um, sloth. What book have you neglected reading due to laziness? So I've mentioned in the Mooks and Gripes um, book uh, bucket list that um, one of my goals would be to read the entirety of the Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism over the course of a year, which I haven't done largely because I'm yeah, you know, being lazy. I'm also probably daunted. Also, there's going to be a lot of bailing. I can almost certainly guarantee that. But a lot of the books on that list, I think I haven't gotten to, I haven't bought, largely because of laziness. Um, Pride. What book do you most talk about in order to sound like a very intellectual reader? Um, probably literary criticism. Although I really don't talk about literary criticism all that much. I mean, it has been a while since I've read any literary criticism. Um, and by this, I'm talking the more academic, theoretical side of literary criticism rather than uh, book reviewing. Um, lust. Um, so the original question was... What attributes do you find most attractive in male or female characters? Um, I think their personality, um, particularly with um, in prose fiction, which I'm assuming this uh, prompt refers to. Um, the I think the character's personality is most important, although. Obviously, with um, more visual media, comics, manga, I think the physical, um, the visual representation of the characters can also be more attractive or whatnot. Um, and now, Paige's question, or addition, I guess, uh, what attributes cause you to experience attraction to characters? I guess maybe a more proactive approach. I think the characters I like the most in fiction are, or that I find most attractive, are characters who are more proactive, who really sort of don't wait to be, they, they're not reactive, they're Pretty much, they take the initiative. So I think that's what I would say would be most attractive to me. And finally, Envy. What books would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, so right now, there are a number of books that I really would love to have as gifts. Or to be told where I could find them at relatively reasonable prices. Um, the first one is The Late Medieval Queens by J.L. Lanesmith. It could also be Last Medieval Queens by J.L. Lanesmith. It's a history that looks at um, the queenships of um, Margaret of Anjou and uh, Butchard Anjou. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Woodville and Neville and Elizabeth of York and how sort of what their role was within uh, the government of their respective kings um, their relations with um, other nobles other landholders it is a it's a fascinating book it's been a long while since I've read it and I've wanted it for years but I've never found a copy that is reasonably priced um, which I might actually after I finish this up I might actually go and see if I can find one although I'll have to wait until October before I can order it which might mean it will be a longer wait um, I'm also um, looking for and hoping I could get it as a gift although I doubt it uh, but another book that I'm really having my eyes out for 
is um, Magi, uh, The Labyrinth of Magic, Volume 8 and 9, and probably 10 to the mid-teens, volumes by uh, Shinobu Otaka. Um, uh, Magi is a shonen manga series that I recently started reading and have really fallen in love with. And I'm slowly collecting the volumes numerically. And so far, um, volume 8 and 9 are being particularly difficult to find at a reasonable price um, with the uh, booksellers that I use. Um, so hopefully, um, Alibras will have a decently priced copy of them. Um, so far, the cheapest I found is one for $20. And no, I'm not spending $20 for a book that retails at like nine something. No. Um, so hopefully I will be able to find them. Um, I might actually look around and see if um, there are other sellers um, where I can track them down at. But anyway, booktube. That was the seven deadly sins tag. If you would like to do this tag, I consider yourselves tagged. And I will see you tomorrow with maybe some more um, tag videos, or I might even do a, a discussion video about my reading plans for the next three months um, and see how that goes. So until tomorrow, BookTube, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.